Hey mama, today I want to talk about back labor and give you some tips and tricks for how to avoid it and how to deal with it. Okay, so to explain a bit what back labor is, it's just during labor when there's contractions going on. So moms talk about feeling very intense pain and like almost like a burning sensation on their back. And this is actually in most situations caused by the position that the baby is in. So let me use my little helper here as, as an example. The optimal position for labor is when the baby is facing you with the head down obviously but I think that will scare her so the baby is facing you and their back is pointing towards your your belly button back labor is caused when the baby is facing your belly button and their back is towards your back so I'm guessing like the their spine is pushing against your spine and that's just not the best position for labor especially if you want to have like minimal pain so I want to tell you some things that you can do first of all to avoid back labor that is things to do that would allow baby to be in optimal position that is head down and their back facing your belly button so there's a science to how baby is positioned during pregnancy what that means is that basically their back is the heaviest part of their body and it will go to the part of least resistance if you lean back if you're always in a leaning back position their back will go and face that side if you lean forward their back is going to go and face that side so basically you want to take positions that are using gravity to ensure that baby's back is in the place that you want it to be and also their head okay so i'll give you some examples in your third trimester i know that you hear a lot where they tell moms um you know in your third trimester rest put your feet up don't put your feet up because when you put your feet up you usually would have to lean back a bit and that's what you don't want to do to be leaning back so avoid sitting in that way find other ways to rest without having to put your feet up another thing you want to avoid is sleeping while laying on your back same thing applies it's using gravity to send baby's back towards your back you don't want to do that try sleeping on your side i believe there's a better side either the left or the right i'll check and put that in the video when i confirm but you are, you absolutely should avoid sleeping on your back especially during your third trimester this next tip applies to when you're sitting down notice how on this chair when i sit down i'm leaning a bit a bit backwards when you're sitting on chairs like that you want to try and put the wedge behind ow I need to clip her nails. You want to try and put a wedge behind you so that you're sitting in an upright position. This chair is actually similar to how the chairs in your car is. So you want to try to put a wedge in your car, especially if you're going to be driving a lot, so that you're sitting upwards. And another thing to try to note is that you want your belly button to not be facing up. As you can see, this is where my belly button is. I need to be facing up if I'm like this. You want it to be facing a bit downwards or at the very least, like, like just straight. I don't know if that makes sense but yeah try to put a wedge behind you when you're sitting down one quick tip is to sit on birth balls as much as you can while you're working at your desk if you work at from home or if that's something that will be allowed at your office sit on a birth ball when you're watching tv you could also sit on a birth ball this mirrors an optimal position for you and it also gives you a chance to practice different positions with your birth ball and something i want to mention real quick is i know that most pregnant women towards the end of their trimester let's say about 39 weeks they start to take positions that will help the baby's head engage for labor like squatting and stuff like that that is great but you want to make sure that baby is already in optimal position before you start to do this because once that starts to happen it will be more difficult for baby to move and change so one trick is that when you feel your belly if you don't feel a hard bump which would usually be the baby's bump it means that baby is probably facing towards your belly button which is not what you want so try to do some of these positions that i spoke about to help baby turn before you start to engage baby's head for labor okay so if all else fails and you end up finding yourself in a position where you have back labor don't panic because it can still be managed try things like applying a, a warm shower to your back to help soothe the pain you can also lean over on a birth ball or on a, at the side of a table or the side of your bed to take the pressure off your back another great position is leaning or rocking on hands and knees also to take the pressure off your back just try these different positions and see which one helps you out the best if you have a midwife or a doula they probably would also have some more suggestions for you for how to manage it but it's not the end of the world it's just um, labor would usually be a bit more challenging um, it could take a bit longer but it can absolutely be done hi baby 
Okay, so this was a quick one. That's all I have for today's video. I hope this was helpful. If you like videos like this, please remember to subscribe. I'd love to have you on this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.